Hello, Brother Munro here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where I'm uh, testing testing the mod that I made <laughs> and making. Um, let's see, when will this be coming out? Sometime in the new year. So, uh, release of the mod is actually uh, not too far away from your point of view. Uh, unless you're a channel member and watching this early, in which case it's a fair way away. Right. Anyway, uh, peace has been signed between the Empire of Japan and Spain. Yeah, I just, just want Spain out of the war, really. Um, so that we can focus on taking out the Germans. Ooh, that's a nice little port strike. The Bayern has run into oh my goodness the the main fleet that's over here that is probably not going to be great for bayon and uh, it'll allow us to get some revenge for shikishima do 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 go uh, oh, a little bit of damage on these ships. I don't remember them getting into a fight, but they must have done. This is a uh, light damage, by the way. So even if they t only took like one percent, the game only records that they took light damage, and then when you load it back in, it randomly applies light damage. Um. I don't think the light cruisers are going to get a shot off here. Oh, low fuel too. Oh, nice to see them coming towards me though. Turning that away. It's a lot of times ten. Fourteen inch opening up as well. Oh, they get a... Well, I don't know if they get the first hit, but they get a hit. Range are we engaging at here? 26 kilometers. Light cruisers have successfully distracted here. It's causing them to split their fire. Oh. This one should be withdrawing now. And we are actually starting to launch some torps. Just to piss them off, basically. Also, all those six inch guns. I haven't seen a change in course yet. Yeah, there's a torpedo right here. Now they've seen it. Uh, I did miss, but that came incredibly close. They've lost their fire control as well. 
very nice. That has been the tactic that we've used against these uh, big German battleships. Knocking out their uh, upper works with high explosive at range. And then the 16 inch crashing through the main deck. Only 3.4 inch. And they're distracted trying to kill cruisers. Oh, bad angle, but yeah, dud. And they surrender. Scuttle the ship, and down goes Bayern. Very, very good. I don't know how many battleships Germany has left. Oh, that was me thinking they wouldn't have very many. They have five of those things still. Jeez, they're just pumping those out. Goodness. Uh, the uh, the well, the Sagami in. The Sagamis have arrived to help with the naval invasion here. It's only a 50-50 chance. Uh, this line, by the way, <laughs> this is Yamato and Musashi <laughs> coming along to help. Um, we also have the Bussard against the Ayoshima to do. So let's get that done. Go. Last time, I wasn't overly impressed with the German light -like cruisers. Hits already. Yeah, just ripping that ship to pits. Yeah, can't hide in smoke. Done. Easy, easy pickings. All right, uh, back to the map. Well, colour me surprised. We took control of Morocco. Very nice. And now we can move on to Western Sahara. Yes, please. Um, All right, if I put you over here and you over here, I think that'll be enough to take Western Sahara. I'm going to move the Yamato and Musashi, which have just arrived, to off the Canary Islands. We might be able to pull off two invasions at once. We'll see. I'll see what the success chance is on this one uh, before we get to that. But uh, yeah, that's a lot of uh, firepower. Once we remove German influence from the west coast of Africa here, uh, I'm not sure what the best thing to do will be. We could sue for peace. That's option one. We could just let them off. Option two... Now, Northern France is going to be too hard to take. Um, I 
don't think they have any. Well, maybe take Lithuania, but that's very isolated. And we will have the Russians to worry about. We could take Norway. <laughs> Potentially, but that's still going to be difficult. No, I think uh, we take this, and uh, I'm sure the Germans will be prepared to sue for peace by that point, and we can start peace, peace negotiations. This is what I want off them anyway. Um, I don't think they have anything anywhere else outside of, you know, Europe. So that's fine. All right, convoy battle. What do we got? Aoshima again. All right, this shouldn't take too long. Oof. Is that the transport? Yeah. Getting absolutely annihilated. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, right, can take out the light cruiser as well. Switch up to AP, please. Thank you. their deck armor towards me. That's why we're having trouble sinking them. Can't just batter them in with high explosive, get their uh, structure down to zero. They're still getting the odd hit in. Oh, we've lost a turret as well. Ring wire rate of fire dropped off. Seven percent. Yeah, it's a newer version. It seems much tougher. It's still sunk, but um, yeah, I think that must have been a slightly different ship. I didn't actually pay close attention. Oh, it's maybe a refit. Yeah, 1938. So this has had a refit. They're much better, the refitted ones. Good job, AI. All right, uh, it's now December uh, 1938, and... Uh, this invasion is at 100% with just the one fleet. This is the the main 16-inch fleet. Uh, so I've sent Yamato and Musashi to take Madeira, and I've sent the... Oh, no, sorry. I've sent them to take Canary Islands, and I've sent the others to take Madeira, which I'm going to have to stagger because you can only launch one invasion per month. But um, we should be able to tidy all of this up relatively easily. 
Uh, and then, just in case Germany doesn't want to sue for peace, I think we move our ships up uh, and put one fleet in the English Channel, one fleet in the North Sea, and one fleet in the Baltic Sea, and see if we can blockade Germany, because that would be funny. Um, <laughs> okay. Ayashima and Yoshino against... Well, one non-refitted, that's the Nymph, and one refitted, that's the Gephian. So two light cruisers here. And we can see the difference. I think those 1938 versions are a lot better. <laughs> also, a fairly big convoy for us to uh, eliminate. Like cruisers coming out to deal with us. I don't notice too much difference in their super in their in the way they look. The two cruisers. No, they look very similar. Must be a minor refit, but still, they definitely put on more armor. Better arm as well, it's like 160%. Group 5. Right. What I want you to, to do, let's split you up actually. Yoshino, I want you to target that ship. Ayoshima, I want you to target that one. You can just leave the secondaries to deal with the transports. Start generating hits on one of them. Oh, okay, that's the non refitted one. And go sh uh, the nymph. I'm guessing this one is the nymph. Right. Let's keep the pressure on the yeah, other light cruiser. While we eliminate the... Yeah, there's the nymph. So let's actually have a look. Now we have the uh, original, which has F all armor. Actually, it's the same quality. just has no, none of it. Diesel... This one is bigger. How do they manage that? Beam 9-9, draft minus 12... Yeah, that's the same. Oh, they lowered the speed. So they dropped the speed by four knots and actually put some armor on it. And worse engines. Oh, yeah, I never change. Right. Got him. But, uh, yeah, that refit, much more effective. If uh, still somewhat outclassed. All right, back to the invasions. And now, uh, <laughs> two more of these refitted light cruisers have run up against the Haguro. I guess this is uh, Germany trying to reinforce their kind of island positions it's kind of how i would see it trying to get uh supplies to the 
garrisons. That sort of thing. Huguro drifting. Why are you smoking up? Hmm. Oh, it's probably because I left it on AI control when there were enemy ships around. Send some torpedoes out. Alright, main guns over there. Yeah, nine inch guns, even with the up armoured uh, refits. Not great. Those torpedoes are. Pretty close to those cruisers. I haven't seen them starting to manoeuvre yet. Don't know where the other one is. Oh, it's here. Flooding on Haguro. Surprising amount of flooding. Which apparently we're not able to pump out. AI doing AI things. Like, oh yeah, one hit here that's apparently turned three compartments fully red and 100% flooded them, so I can't pump them out. And that is apparently enough to drop my float to 54%, even though it's only three compartments in the extended belt. Well, okay, and half, half a compartment in the citadel, I suppose, but... So, sunk. Anyway, I'll take it back to port and pump the uh, pump the water out. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Another month, and Haguro and Ayashima and Samidar are in action again. Uh, Canary Islands and Western Sahara are on the go. Uh, next turn, I think, I will be able to start the invasion of Madeira as well. And then, probably have to wait about six months, and then we'll be, we'll be done with the Germans. They will have fallen. Um... Right. Well, not fallen, fallen, but we will have gotten everything that we wanted from them. <laughs> it's maybe a better way of putting it. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. Nice cheeky little hit. Oh, another one as well. Transports just getting cleared up. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I mean, I did want you to so much for oh yeah, there's a ship in this in this in the in the way, so we won't fire torpedoes. Excuse for not firing torpedoes. Clearly that is not the case. Ayushiva just blundering into the firing zone. But two of the light cruisers down, and this is a original version. So the Karlsruhe, very very dead, very very quickly. Oh Germany, where are your battleships? You've got them. What are you doing with them? All right, uh, back to the map, I guess. Oh, that's what they were doing with their battleships. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and take southern Egypt. That's really annoying. So, yeah, they, they've retaken southern Egypt, the little shits. Right. Um, no matter. No matter. We will take Madeira. And then we will go over there and we will take southern Egypt. And hopefully we will keep it rather than giving it back to Egypt, who keeps losing it. Um... Anyway, that's the plan. Uh, we've got two months, four months, and this, then this, this one will almost certainly be six. Uh, but we've got another convoy battle to do. Oh, this is a bit different. Oh, this is very different. That the, they listen to me. The Vetin, or Vetin, is guarding eight transports. We have a port Portugal. <laughs> Oh, Portugal's here, <laughs> of course. Not actual Portugal, <laughs> but uh, rump Portugal. Okay. They have a favourite class battle cruiser, a British ship, I'm assuming, from the name. 16-inch guns. Uh, it's probably almost certainly horribly outclassed by the Vetin, but it's not mine, I don't care. Uh, a bunch of destroyers, and then it's Haguro ha and Ayashima. Depends what range we start at. We might be able to blow up the transports and then run away. Uh, but I'd rather keep my own ships alive. <laughs> I care about my ships, but I don't really care about the others. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? Okay, we are starting a long way. Oh my good grief. All for all forward, double quads stacked. What the fuck is this? <laughs> no wonder you sold it to Portugal. That is um That is awful. Awful. Why is this on a barbet? That is so bad. Oh, dearie me. Um, 
Yeah, I'm taking a picture of this. Uh, excuse me. This is going on um, AI fails. That is shockingly bad. There we go. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Right. Uh, no armor. Not fast. I, I might as well sink this for them. I'll be doing them a favor. Right, Haguro, we are losing this battle. Run away. Run away. <coughs> Portuguese. Oh, you've got low fuel. Absolute cretins. Fuel your ships. Oops, no, not reverse. Um... You, you've got low fuel. Oh, everybody's got low fuel. You idiots. Apart from the Martin. Which I've damaged its engine. Oh, okay, it fixed itself. We Maybe we can torpedo the battleship. Everyone else, run away. Distractions, go! Hmm. <laughs> Distractions. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, Portugal must have been allied to Britain at some point. Oh, Glorious just took a massive hit to a Dex. <laughs> Martin is now distracting the enemy, though. Wait, the transports are over here. Ow. I was going to say, maybe we can get the transports. Ha ha joke. No. Splat. Oh, no, not quite. Glorious hasn't even been able to return fire. They're only 20 kilometers away. Fucking hell. Those are really bad guns for what is near as 1940. Oh dear. And sunk? No, you missed. Ha! You missed! This is unbelievably bad. This whole design is awful. Even if you take it through the lens of like a Great War era battle cruiser, this is shockingly crap. Now, if we'd started close, we might have been able to sink some transports, but no, this is just pathetic. Where are these transports? There they are. Come on, sink me some transports. Oh my god, are they out of range? <laughs> they are. Oh god.
Oh no, they're going for the Martin. No, they took out his gun. Main guns. Quick, fire some torpedoes or something. Jesus, what's your torpedo range? Six. Fucking hell. It's just dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Sorry to... Uh, I'm not dumping on you, Portugal. Um, it's not your fault. You didn't design these ships. They are super out of date. And super rubbish. Glorious failure, more like. Good lord. I think Glorious can even move. Well, barely. Just floundering. Waiting for a 17 inch shell to put her out of her misery. End. Oh, <laughs> you're robbed. <laughs> okay, defeat, but not nearly as badly as it could have been because the glorious very nearly was obliterated there. Oh, what a glorious failure! <laughs> All three invasions are underway. Uh, the Canary Islands one is looking a little bit uh, less likely, but I can just move. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that just now because this fleet can actually be in both circles at the same time. Ha ha ha! Uh, and yeah, Ayoshima has a, a Bruma class, which is going to be very straightforward. I think should be able to deal with them pretty quick. I dispatched several of these already. No issues. Even if it is dark. Well, this is daytime. Doesn't look like. Actually, I say that. This looks like daytime in Scotland at the moment. <laughs> uh, I'm recording this on uh, the 21st of December, which is the winter solstice. And yeah, I, I think we get about five hours of daylight today or something like that. It's just really bad. And, well, actually, it's brightened up a bit. But um, if it's cloudy at the moment, uh, it does kind of look like this. But uh, we're not off the coast of Scotland. We're off the coast of Africa, so... I generally enjoy a little bit better weather. And uh, more daylight in the winter. <laughs> Flooding Big hit as well Main belt pen Right, now the accuracy is climbing Oh, it was just just ignore this. If you're playing the mod, just ignore what it says here. It doesn't make any sense. 
just keep firing. Eventually, you'll get a hit, and you'll get then you get a bunch of hits. There you go. Overall, on average, it usually works out over a battle. But basically, whatever numbers here is a lie. There we go. That's the best way of thinking about it. It's a rough indicator, but I've seen it on like 80 and then every shot misses, so... It's fine. Overall, it's what you should be looking at. Megan accuracy, 9.6% is fine. Let's go. Alright, uh, this is just the land invasion failing because we have taken it from the sea. Once again, the navy beats the army. Western Sahara and Morocco both firmly in our hands. Uh, I should probably move the Huguro to Casablanca. Um, and... I assume I'm going to pop down here. Just so that we have some coverage over here. Rather than everything being in uh, Ponte del Garda. Although it is pretty big, actually, Ponte del Garda. Um, this chance is really low for some reason. I think because there is a, a ship in here somewhere. Well, there's a whole bunch of ships in the in the in in there. Okay, we might have to repeat that. Normally, they will come out and fight you at some point. Um, oh, in fact, they are coming out to fight me now. I'm talking shite. This one's going on uh, pretty well, but again, it's being interfered with by these two battleships over here. But like I said, normally this does generate a battle at some point. So we've got the Posen and the Hindenburg. This is their battle cruiser. 800 million. That's expensive. 36 knots. 40% armor quality. 16 inch max, 12.7 inch guns, six of them. Hmm. Not a fan of those numbers. But uh, the Posen is a Wittelsbach, which we've seen a load of times before. <gasps> However, we know what happened the last time these went up against uh, Yamato class ships. And it didn't go super well for the Germans. So, yeah. I think we should be okay here. There's a lot of light ships, though. That does complicate um, matters when you're doing these things. You've got six light cruisers and a destroyer, uh, which is a lot more than I've got. Uh, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my cruisers together. Uh, I'm going to have them follow the battleships. And then we're going to sail in and squash him. Musashi taking the lead. Yamato following behind. Lovely stuff. There they are. So look at this battle cruiser zooming about. Oh. Weird. That's a very long citadel. Hmm. I wonder how much armor that thing actually has. Because, yeah, the max was 16, but that'll be the turret face or something. That is a long, long citadel. That's very much like a light ship cleaner. I don't know how to put it. It's not really a cruiser killer. Because uh, it doesn't have enough of those 12-inch guns. But it is very much a... Like, just like clearing out of small ships design. Oh, Masashi and Yamato making thunderous, <laughs> thunderous noise. I love the sound. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, there seems to be a lot of switching targets. Uh, take out their battleship with your gu big guns, please. That's what the big guns are for. And we have cruisers to deal with the other stuff.
Oh, 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 oh. Main deck pen. <laughs> Make me supremely nervous. We're 30 kilometers out and bash. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, they've got a pretty good main deck. Eight inch. At good quality, but. Yeah, 30, that's just about, just on the edge of what these shells can go through. That's why you're seeing them uh, not doing very much sometimes, but enough of them. Fire control damage. That's going to hurt. Impressive accuracy. Big target, of course. And the Germans do not have the rate of fire to deal with this. Or the number of guns. And those 17-inch guns fire light shells, so they're a bit more like 16-inch guns. And we're firing, well, not full-fat 18s, but we're firing normal 18s. Flooding hit. They don't flood very much, these ships. There you go, Posen. One of the light cruisers straying too close. Dispatched. Another salvo coming in on Posen. And yeah, the other problem Posen has, of course, is she's being <laughs> taken on two to one. Which is really not what you want when the enemy ships can probably take you one on one. those main deck pins one after the other and they're not even firing back I don't know why it might just be out of range no they're in range could actually well yeah could be angle though normally it would say angle here could also be that the AIs put the uh, guns on save. It's got a 0% chance to hit. So they're just like... Oh no, it's crew loss. Yeah, The crew is so busy trying to keep the ship afloat. Those cramped quarters coming back to haunt them. Still though, these ships are tough. Like, it's not dead. It's taken 56 penetrating hits from those 18 inch guns to actually get the thing close to sinking. Might want to switch up to HE chaps.
Ah, they have surrendered. Good, good, good. Right, let the small ship abuse begin. Oh yeah, Mr. Battlecruiser, I didn't even look at you yet. Crap armor. Uh, that's what I thought. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's just unfair. <laughs> Poor old Breslau. We're even ignoring Hindenburg, which is... Pretty funny, they're trying to go for the uh, heavy cruiser. Oh! I thought they were out of range and then popped smoke, but the shells were already on the way. Now we're switching up to the battle cruiser. Oh, no, they switched target again. Yeah, can you uh, take out that battle cruiser actually? Explosive, not going to be enough. But it's, it's quite a lot of damage, nonetheless. Uh, try some AP. go. Bit of flooding. That's what we like. More flooding. That'll slow them down, make them easier to hit. Even if we are going to ricochet a fair bit. In battle, I think not. <laughs> Evacuate. <laughs> Our moment of triumph. Hmm. Actually, what I could do... I have one firing HE and one firing AP, so we hit them with both. Yeah, there goes down. Down goes the destroyer. Hindenburg nearly sunk. running. Again, actually impressive how it stood up. 
given how little armor it has. I mean, it's dead now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it wasn't like one hit and it's just dead. I wonder if we can find anything else to sink. Yep. Light cruisers. Happily eliminate you, especially as two of you are already badly damaged. different. Yeah, they got torpedoes on them. No wonder my ships were targeting them straight away. And down go you two. And just leaves this light cruiser. Uh, this one, the Stettin. Also a torpedo armed one. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the ones that are going to hit in the air. Oh no. Oof. Wow. Nice work by damage control team. Uh, all for naught, but it's good work nonetheless. Fleet wipe. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Yes, very good. Any V pieces there? <laughs> 40,000. Yeah, seems about right. Okay. I'm going to end the episode here on that victory. Uh, very satisfying victory. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.